The next question from Arsalan Khurshid, Bihar, India. Is covering one's head during Salah a Sunnah or a culture? First, we'll discuss whether covering the head is Sunnah or a culture and then come to covering the head in Salah. There is a verse in the Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 31, which says that, O children of Adam, take your adornments for every time and place of prayer. Telling to the Bani Adam that, take your adornments, your beautiful apparels, at the time of prayer and the place of prayer. This is the only reference you get regarding the clothes of prayer in the Quran. As far as whether covering the head is a sunnah or a culture, there are different opinions. Some group of scholars, they say that covering the head is a sunnah. Some group of scholars say it's only cultural. But all the scholars unanimously agree that if it is in the culture that covering the head is respectful, then the Muslims should cover the head. But if it is not considered as respectful in the society, like Western society, it may not be that respectful covering the head. So then if you don't cover it, it's okay. But in India, Pakistan, in the eastern part of the world, in Malaysia, Indonesia, it is respectful to cover the head. So at that time, it is better than you cover the head. So the scholars are divided whether it is a sunnah or not. But according to Nasruddin al-Bani, Sheikh Nasruddin al-Bani, he says, that it is sunnah to cover your head. And the Prophet and the Sahabas covered the head. Shaykh al-Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, he said the Sahabas always covered the head. The Prophet covered the head. So it is not from the Sahaba to uncover your head. So according to Shaykh al-Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, covering the head is a sunnah. Even according to Ibn Qayyum, he says that the Prophet wore the turban without the cap, he wore the cap without the turban, and you find several hadith which say that the Prophet wore a turban, the Prophet wore a black turban, the Prophet wore a kufi, the Prophet wore a cap, the Prophet wore a white cap, there are several hadith. So based on these hadith, this group of scholars say that covering the head is sunnah, it is from the salaf. From the salaf it is that you should cover the head. So according to Sheikh Nasr Darbani, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Qayyum, may Allah have mercy on them all, it is sunnah to cover that. As far as I am concerned also, I believe that covering that is sunnah, irrespective whether you are in the eastern part of the world or whether in the western part of the world, since the Prophet covered the head, since the Salaf covered the head, I believe in those group of scholars that say that covering the head is sunnah. Regarding the question of covering the head during Salah, is it sunnah or is it a culture? As far as covering the head is concerned, there is no proof no hadith, no Quranic verse that it is fun to cover the head during Salah. So it is very clear cut that covering the head is not a fard while offering Salah. It's not a requirement. But those scholars who believe that covering the head generally is a sunnah, they also say that covering the head is mustab during Salah. Imagine if a person comes from the western part of the world and he wants to be an imam in India or Pakistan and he uncovers his head. It would be very weird because this part of the world covering that is not only a culture, they consider it a sunnah. That's the reason even if the Muslims, when they don't cover the head in the normal times in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, at least while Salah, they cover the head. But recently in the last few years, five or ten years, you find many of the Muslims coming from Gulf countries and they want to show the people that they have knowledge and because it's not fard to cover the head in Salah, now you find people reading Salah in the mosque without covering the head. Previously, maybe 15-20 years back, 99% of the people in the mosque, always the heads were covered. With cap, or with gathra, compulsory. Now you find at least 15-20% or maybe a little bit more, because they have gone to Gulf country, they come back and they want to show the people that they have knowledge, so purposely they don't cover their head while offering Salah, which is not a good practice. If covering people consider covering a sunnah, even if you don't belong to that group, at least it's in the culture. So at least while offering salah, cover that. Why are you going out of the way and praying salah without covering your head? 
let me tell you, it's not fard to cover your head. The Prophet said only an aura should be covered and if you have two pieces of cloth, one piece of cloth should be over your shoulders and the other piece of cloth should cover your aura. This is the minimum requirement, but natural, according to many scholars, covering that is sunnah and even according to the Hanafi school of thought, covering is the sunnah and according to many fuqahas. So I believe that covering that is sunnah and when offering salah, so it should be covered. And even when offering salah, it is preferable that the head should be covered. This is in reference to the gents I'm talking about. But naturally, for the woman, covering the head is farad in front of the namara and offering salah also but natural for the woman, covering the head is a farad.